Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome if you're new or returning. So I am going to do, I, I'm just going to say this is a reading for whoever needs it. I'm not going to specifically say it's for a specific zodiac sign. We're going to look at the current situation, see what is currently going on, and ask the universe what to expect, what to get prepared for, and how to be in the receiving mode, because why not? Why not use law of attraction? It gets you to your wish desired. Why wouldn't you want to get to your wish fulfillment, right? And this is an interesting card at the bottom of the deck. I am seeing here this can be about a relationship, a very specific person. This is a very important person, okay? A significant love connection. I'm seeing major arcanas all over this reading. It can be, it could be, um, yeah, I just saw the Eight of Wands and the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so let's take a look here and see what's going on. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Bottom of the deck, Three of Swords. So, you know, you're feeling the separation. You're feeling the loss. You're, there could have been a recent breakup. It could be a third party situation. This is a love disconnection from your specific person, person you're thinking about, or you just feel like this person isn't loving you the way that you want to be loved. Maybe you are in a commitment. Maybe you are in a relationship with this person, but something that they did or didn't do is making you, you're just hurting over the situation. I'm just going to put it that way. So if you do resonate with what I just said, okay, I am showing here nine of pentacles. You are doing quite all right, though. You're fine on your own. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles is someone here who is fiercely independent. Someone who is, isn't looking for a relationship, just to be in a relationship. Someone here who may be right now preferring to be single, not really wanting to get back into the dating scene because of this situation here. You kind of just want to heal. Kind of just want to take some time for yourself. Okay, you may consider entertaining um, other possible connections if someone comes along that really piques your interest, but I don't get that you're in this place of, you just, you're just really not in that mental space of even remotely being romantically involved with anybody else right now because you have someone that you either want to fix things with or still be with or are still healing from. There is a sense of rejection, okay? You feel maybe this was in the past. Yeah, I just kind of get here. You feel like, um, and, and I also kind of get that you're also rejecting tons of other people too, or you have just not even been looking. You just haven't been interested, frankly. Um, but you're still maybe talking, looking, um, I don't know. I am kind of getting here. There is somebody that you may kind of like, but at the same time, maybe they're just you know, they don't make you feel those feels like this other person makes you feel. You're just not as attracted to them in some type of way as you are to this person who you feel strong feelings for. And for some of you, you can't be with this person. You feel like um, things can't move forward with this person because there is a third party situation. 
So that's kind of what I'm getting. You are moving on. Okay, you're kind of getting away from this situation. Some of you, you could be leaving or this could be a, um, you know, your husband, your boyfriend, your wife, your girlfriend that you're moving away from because they cheated on you. Or, you know, yeah, and you're just like, I'm not, I'm, I'm done I'm walking away. And I just don't really have interest in being with anybody right now. I'm okay on my own. Kind of sucks. I need to heal. Yeah. Okay. I may uh, entertain potential prospects, but you know, there's a part of you that I'm kind of getting. You're just still really in that headspace. I feel like it's more of your headspace and there's still some healing. Um, damn kind of really feel for um, justice. I feel like for whoever it is I'm dealing with, there was marriage, there was there was um, a pregnancy. Maybe you're the mother of this person's child or you guys were maybe about to, you know, start a family um, or someone here is pregnant or I don't know. I'm kind of getting here. This is a wife filing for divorce or girlfriend saying it's done or it's over, or can you can flip the genders. Yeah, I mean, definitely with temper, you would be mad. You would be hurt. I mean, there's a, there's a blend of I'm hurt and I'm mad. I care and I don't. You know, Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. Moving on from the situation. I mean, yeah, of course you still love this person, but yeah. You're just off to a new beginning here. And you can even be getting hearing from your friends right now, like, let me let me set you up with this person. Okay, this is a great man, beauty, you know, all of this or all of that, you know, him or her, you know, someone who may be someone with, who could be a single father, single mother as well, who has their own place, who has their life put together, who's really stable, looking for someone just like you, perfect, you guys would make a perfect couple, and you're just like, I don't know, you know, um, let me take a look here, I don't know why I'm getting such a specific message here for somebody, Let's see what your outcome is. This real this reading really just took a turn. Okay. I'm sorry, whoever it is that um, has ever energy I'm picking up on who just went through this. You know, this isn't easy. This is actually a very difficult time. It's like you're in the middle of, you know, total life transition, you know, like one step towards a new life, one foot kind of still like you're kind of in that place of, and yeah, I keep what's going on in this reading. Whatever it is I'm picking up on those same cards keep jumping out, um, you know, this See, the fool here, it's like you're starting on a new journey. It is going to be very difficult. This time isn't going to be easy. And it's not supposed to. I'm kind of getting here right now. Yeah, you're going to be kind of reliving the past for a few days if you haven't been already. You're going to be thinking about so many things you can probably be crying and angry then sad and happy it's like a whole mix of different emotions all at the same time and then you're like it's like a point where you just feel numb and so you don't even feel like your heart's ready to be offered or given to anybody else right now 
And yeah, you just really want this time to, you just want some time alone. You just want some space. You just want to process, you know? There could be a divorce settlement here, okay? Um, let's take a look here. You do have a new love offer, though, for sure. You definitely have somebody really cute, attractive coming your way. I'm seeing here this person's going to be really interested in you, and if you would be willing to give this person a chance, but I don't feel like they're ready, that's the thing. Um, yeah, I do really see something kind of romantic, things, you know. Um, I just kind of feel like your heart is so big. If you would just, I mean, you can't rush a... Um, separation you know you can't rush somebody to heal in fact that's like the worst thing you can do I mean we're human we got to feel the feels we got to go through the stages of grief we got to go through the stages of depression and finding just acceptance you know or try to work things out there's going to be a little bit of this like I don't know what it is I want and that's to everyone to decide up to them what they want and I'm just going to tell you law of attraction you can have what it is you want this person back you can do that i promise you want them to show up in your life and in a better way you can do it if you want to just you know be done over this kind of just get back and start your new life you can do that too without any limerence the law of attraction is a hell of a, a wand, okay? Essentially, it's your personal genie in your pockets. And the universe just pretty, set, pretty much says, your wish is my command. The only thing is you got to get on that frequency that the universe responds to when it is the thing that you want. I do see there is going to be justice in your favor. Something is going to be balanced out for you, okay? Things are looking up. I feel like the worst is done. The worst is over. It's not going to get any worse from here. Okay? But I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, the wheel of fortune. Something here is changing. What feels like that you're at the bottom of it. You know, I told you you can't get worse from whatever it is you're feeling now. Now things are going to go the other way around. Okay? What feels like down is going to go up. Okay? You're just going to be on top of the world, okay? You're going to be on top of the world. I see you winning something big, okay? The sun is the happiest card in the deck. You are going to get everything it is that you want. The wheel of fortune in the sun, holy shit. This is pretty much like, okay, hitting the jackpot. Like, imagine, I mean... These two never, I've never seen this combination ever in my life, ever in anyone's reading, or I don't think for the whole duration and lifetime of this channel, <laughs> okay? The sun is literally out of 78 cards in this deck, the happiest card in the deck, in the wheel of fortune. That's like, essentially, you've hit the jackpot. Anything, everything that you want to go right in your life now is going to start going better, and the sun guarantees that. The sun's like, everything that's about to happen for you is all going to be positive. It's all going to be not just positive, but the happiest card in the deck, like, amazing, okay, it's gonna make you so ecstatic, it's gonna make you feel like, what the hell was I even crying about this shit for, what the hell was I even thinking about, like, it just, it takes you to a whole nother level, you won't even, like, uh, comprehend or be able to even recognize yourself, because it's, like, ma major, I'm gonna tell you guys, it's kind of almost like it's gonna make you feel a little bipolar, you know, it's like you're kind of in the in the in the dumps, and then all of a sudden you're like on top of the world. It is very polarizing emotions, okay? 
But that's the interesting thing about law of attraction. And that's why I keep seeing justice here. Because whatever it is that's going on in your life right now, it could be a relationship. It could be um, for a business. It could be uh, just regarding whatever issue. Since I was strongly getting a separation or a loss of a connection, all of a sudden it's like, boom. Whatever it is that's on your mind right now, you wish, you want, you've been hoping for. It's like, in this reading, it's like, universe is like this is granted you got nothing to worry about it's done it's done there's nothing else to say it's already done okay you just watch and see it's coming there's n <laughs> it is literally on its way to you okay it's literally on its way to you this is a delivery, okay? Usually this card is like usually someone on a horse and it's like they're coming. They're just kind of looking at their map. Where do I go? It's done. It's coming. And like imagine if you just order an Uber, okay? And you are out there or inside your place waiting for it to arrive. Those of you who are probably not in the country don't know what an Uber is. It's just like a taxi service, okay? But... um you call the uber the uber the universe is delivering that's the knight of pentacles it's on its way to you i don't know but for some of you you could be wanting two things you could be weighing out two options i've never seen this combination you guys the wheel of fortune and the sun Things are looking up and things are turning in your favor. Whatever it is, we have, I keep seeing Nine of Pentacles, okay? Communications, a message, a person from your past, this breakup, you want this person to beg you, beg you, uh, beg for you to come back, um, beg for you to return, they're going to like beg for you to do something, or um, you want this person to start chasing after you, change their ways. They're going to be doing all kinds of things, okay? This person's going to be <laughs> trying to be jumping through hoops, like putting on a show, you know, when you say jump, they're going to be like, hi, okay? They're going to be doing all kinds of things. You, you're going to be making like, okay, only if you do this, then this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and they're like, you got it. Whatever you want of me, babe, I'm going to do. Okay, I am really kind of getting that for you guys. And if it's not this person that you want, it is literally something or someone else. But I just kind of had to mention that because the Six of Cups was what's coming in. And that is something regarding your past or specifically a person who has hurt you. Okay, but the wheel and the sun and justice, something here is about to be made right. And I don't know, I just get win, 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 win. And whatever it is that you've been wanting, wishing, praying, hoping for, trying to manifest into your life, it is done. It is done. You have nothing to worry about. I really get here. This is something to do with a romantic offer. You see that guy? He has a cup in his hand. He has a love offer. This is a love offer. Cup of a cup in tarot here means a romantic offer. Okay, something with your emotions, your feelings. I, I kind of get here for some of you. This is somebody who really doesn't want to throw things away. They're looking at what the two of you have built. Okay, they're looking at the situation like. You know, there is something here like, what the hell am I doing? Or they're realizing they're lost, okay? And the universe is playing some things out in your favor. It's just whatever it is that you want, okay? Just, to, I know, I don't know, something that you've been, in, you invested in that you were hoping to see. If it's not the situation, it is their equivalent or way better. The, the wheel of fortune and the sun, I don't even think you'll be able to handle this, honestly. I really cannot describe the amount of happiness that this entails. Like, I don't even know how to put this on a metric or on a scale like what this would be like out of a hundred this would be like a billion to or affinity like that's what I mean so I don't know like be careful because this is gonna make your heart flutter I don't want anybody to like get a heart attack or anything 
Bye, guys. I really enjoyed this reading. Thank you for your likes and your subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.